Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing a PCOS friendly eggless gluten free pancake recipe made with ragi flour, also known as finger millet. This instant ragi pancake can be enjoyed as a quick breakfast. It's completely gluten free, meaning no wheat or maida is used in this recipe, and an ideal healthy breakfast in your weight loss journey. So let's get started with the recipe. I'm using one cup of ragi flakes also known as ragi poha. So this is nothing but flattened ragi also known as ragi poha. Now this ragi poha is soaked and sprouted and then passed through iron rollers. Always try to use sprouted ragi products as it will help in better digestion and better nutrient absorption. Into my blender jar, I'm adding in one cup of sprouted ragi flakes. Into this, I'm adding in two cups of water. For easy blending, you can always soak the ragi flakes in water for about five minutes. Next, I'm adding in two fat pinches of sea salt, one medium sized banana, Freshly ground cardamom powder, I used 5 cardamom seeds. Next I'm adding in half cup of sprouted ragi flour. Ragi, also known as finger millet, is a highly nutritious millet and it is completely gluten free. Ragi is one of the very few natural sources of vitamin D. Ragi has a good amount of iron and thus ideal for those with iron deficiency anemia. Now the reason why I prefer to use sprouted ragi flour in my recipes is that once ragi is sprouted, the vitamin C level tends to increase and leads to easy absorption of iron into the bloodstream. Sprouted ragi also helps in better digestion. For sweetness, I'm adding in one soft medjool dates. Medjool dates are really soft and easily blendable hence I prefer to use them. However, if your dates is not soft like mine, you may need to soak it in water and then use. Other sweetener options are maple syrup, palm jaggery, coconut sugar or even jaggery powder. Adding dates is optional. And now I'm going to blend this really well. Okay, now the pancake batter is nicely blended. It's a slightly thick batter. However, if you would like to slightly thin it out, you can add in a couple of tablespoons of water. I used a total of two cups of water to make the batter into this consistency. I'm heating my cast iron tawa and I'm lightly greasing the tawa with wood pressed gingerly oil. Once the tawa is heated, reduce the flame to the lowest and pour in one ladle full of the thick ragi pancake batter and lightly spread it out. Drizzle in a little bit of wood pressed coconut oil. If you're not a vegan, you can use A2 desi ghee instead. Cover and let it cook on low flame. Two minutes later, open the lid and carefully flip it over and allow that side to get cooked as well. Remember the flame is on the lowest and once that side is cooked, flip it over and serve to a plate. Repeat the same thing with the rest of the batter. If you have leftover batter, it will stay good in the refrigerator for a couple of days. So that way this will make an ideal meal prep. You can enjoy the pancake with a drizzle of honey or maple syrup. So guys, do try this healthy ragi pancake and let me know in the comments how it turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.